what they're doing. They're actually breaking the road. It's all in pieces. There's a giant excavator with a big arm. And on the end of it, there's a pointy part that drills into the pavement. And when it makes that noise, wow. Let me build the road and I'll show you. Some road. Now we need something to be a drill rig. Aha! This will be perfect! Drill operator in place! One, two, three, drill! That's just what happened to the road. The drill went into the pavement and broke right down the middle. Pieces went flying everywhere. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Breaking the road, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm just pretending my rhythm stick is a drill. Splitting up blocks is fun. It's true. But I know someone who split the whole sea in two. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. I'm Aisha. It's so good to see you today. I've been working on making the most amazing cupcakes. Do you want to see them? Ta-da! <laughs> These are my blue raspberry wave cupcakes in honor of today's story. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with God's people and the mean king. His name was Pharaoh. He hurt God's people and tried to keep them locked up. So, God sent a guy named Moses to help them. Let's call for Moses. Can you help me? On the count of three, let's yell, Moses! One, two, three. Moses! <gasps> there you are. Moses told Pharaoh God wanted him to let the people go. Moses had to tell him a lot of times to let the people go, and Pharaoh finally said, yes, God's people can go. Hooray! <laughs> God's people were free. God, with his big power, saved the people from the Pharaoh. Moses led them away from Egypt and out into the desert. They walked until they reached a really big sea. But, uh-oh! Everyone say that with me! Uh-oh! Pharaoh changed his mind. He wanted the people to come back, so he sent soldiers after them. God's people were scared. What are we going to do, Moses, they said. There's a really big sea in front of us, and Pharaoh's soldiers are behind us. There is nowhere for us to go. But Moses reminded them that God is powerful and he would tell them what to do. God told Moses to hold out his staff over the water. Then, do you know what happened? God in all his big, great might 
mighty power, split the water in two, and made a dry path down the middle. Look! It was amazing! It was something only God could do. Now the people could just walk right through to the other side. Can you imagine walking on dry ground and seeing a whole wall of water on the side of you and another wall of water on the other side? <laughs> so incredible. God's power is awesome. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie, tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God's power is so awesome. He split the whole sea in two. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! God's power is so strong that he split the water in two so the Israelites could walk right through on dry land. God's power is awesome! I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, I think they're still working on the road. I'm going to go back out and watch. See you next time.